Hello, this is Dr. Scott Kilberg, the Video Foot Doc, here with another video for you on all things foot and ankle. Today I'm going to talk about Taylor's Bunion. Now a Taylor's Bunion is a bone deformity that is quite common um, that basically involves the outer side of the foot. Now everyone's heard of a, a bunion or what we consider a, our standard or regular bunion which affects the uh, big toe joint and the bone towards the inside of the foot. Well a Taylor's Bunion actually involves the bone on the other side of the foot, uh, an area called the fifth metatarsal phalangeal joint. If you look at this bone model, this joint right here is where a regular bunion would develop. Over here on this side is where a Taylor's Bunion would develop. Essentially what a Taylor's Bunion is, is it's a deformity in which the outer part of this bone called the fifth metatarsal is either enlarged so that there's a, a larger prominence of this bone itself or this bone, the fifth metatarsal itself, is angled out very far away from this bone, the fourth metatarsal. Now, unfortunately, this model is fairly stiff and I can't move that, but imagine this bone right here swinging out this way. That essentially makes this side of this bone here much more prominent against the skin. And essentially, the problem that comes with having Taylor's bunions is that it can become very irritated against the side of the shoe. Um, the bone prominence uh, it can uh, basically form uh, a large lump that when you wear a regular shoe uh, is often rubbed against by the side of the shoe and unfortunately many shoes are, are quite narrow when it comes to the outer side of the foot as opposed to being a little bit wider to accommodate the inner side where a more standard bunion is located. Um, when you wear shoes that are too tight or shoes that are going to rub against this area the skin can become irritated, the tissue underneath this, uh, this skin uh, can actually become inflamed and sometimes a protective uh, uh, sort of uh, sac of fluid called a bursa uh, can develop which kind of forms uh, in an attempt to try to pad off the, uh, uh, the outer layer of the tissue from it being irritated um, from the bone against the side of the shoe. Now treatment is fairly simple for this condition. Uh, you either can wear a much wider shoe that's not going to cause any irritation against the side of the bone or you can attempt to wear some padding which is going to try to sort of um, create a, a sort of a pillow against the, the side of the foot and the shoe which will help to decrease the pressure. Uh, or alternately one can consider surgery to fix uh, this particular deformity. Now surgery can uh, uh, run uh, from uh, simple surgery to a little bit more involved it depends on whether or not the angle of those two bones that I described earlier are too wide or not. If there's just simply a, a small bump against the side of the, uh, the bone itself, it can just simply be shaved down and that's a fairly easy procedure. However, if the actual bone itself is swung outward too far, you actually have to make a cut in the bone at some level and swing the bone back over so that it, it's a little bit more in alignment with the uh, fourth metatarsal next to it. Uh, now that procedure still is a fairly simple one and easy to recover from, but it does require a little bit of some convalescence and the bone uh, fracture that's created by moving it over itself uh, needs uh, about six weeks to heal, uh, which is usually accomplished in a walking boot, um, although you know, some surgeons may prefer to utilize a cast uh, if there's a concern for its uh, stability. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, look for more videos on all things foot and ankle on this site as well as others, or you may check out my website at www.inpodiatrygroup.com. Thank you.